So you're thinking of moving to Salem, Oregon and your price range is between three and $400,000? Well, you're in the right spot because in today's video, we're gonna be looking at two houses in that price range. Let's get to it. Well, if you're new to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living here in Salem, Oregon, consider subscribing so you can stay up to date on the current market. You'll be notified whenever I release new content. My name is Ryan and I am a real estate agent here in Salem, Oregon. And I get calls and texts from people just like you who are thinking of moving to the Willamette Valley. So whether you need to move in a week, a day, or a month, feel free to give me a call, text, or an email. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move here to Salem, Oregon. And in case you're curious of where I am, I am at the Willamette Town Center. It's one of the main malls here in Salem, Oregon, right off of Lancaster. But I will talk to you more about this area in an upcoming video I have on Northeast and East Salem. So if you're interested more about the Willamette Town Center or East Salem in general, check out that video that's dropping here pretty soon or click the link if it's already out, it'll be here on the screen. Like I mentioned in the intro today, we are looking at a few houses in the three to $400,000 range here in Salem, Oregon. As of the last few years, this has become the starter price range or that entry level price range for homes here in Salem, Oregon. You can of course find homes at some of the lower prices, but these are mainly gonna be manufactured homes in parks or your smaller condos and townhomes. You can also find some fixer uppers at lower prices, but but those are likely going to be in a state of disrepair and you're going to have to do a lot of work to get them up to living condition. So for the vast majority of home buyers out there using traditional financing, your options really are going to start in the low threes and then go up from there, depending on what you're looking for. And then I wanted to give you a little bit of a market update here, at least for this price range here in Salem. So the Salem market as a whole is trending a little bit slower than it was during the COVID years. This price range, three to $400,000, is still very competitive. If you're looking to buy in this price range and you're looking at a house that is priced correctly in a good area of town, you can still expect to go up against multiple offers on that house. Two to three offers is fairly common, but I've still heard of up to seven offers on a house. Yes, still in 2023, still getting that many offers in on houses that are, again, priced well in good areas of town. In May of 2023, Salem, Oregon had 65 active listings in the three to $400,000 price range. And we also had 66 houses in this price range sell, which means we are at a one month of inventory, which is the theoretical number we use to say, if there are no new listings that came on, all the listings that are there will sell within one month. Now this never happens because new listings are coming on every day but it's still a number that shows us what the market's doing and the speed of how quickly things are selling. So our one month of inventory shows us that we are in a strong seller's market. Again, where sellers that are pricing their homes right are expecting multiple offers and the buyers that are out there are going to have a harder time getting seller concessions and they're gonna to wanna to write cleaner, simpler offers when they're putting those offers into sellers. Now, if you need to get things like closing costs or point rate buy downs, those are possible, but expect to pay higher than you would if it was a buyer's market. Now, while a three to $400,000 price range is at one month of inventory, the greater Salem area is at 1.7, which again is still a seller's market, but it is trending towards a more balanced market. So no matter what price range you are looking at here in Salem, Oregon, it's always important to partner with a good real estate agent that has their finger on the pulse of the market that way they can guide you in what to put in your offer to make it the most appealing to the seller and get you the best terms possible. So again, if you're considering moving here to Salem, Oregon, and you want to know more about the specific local market here and how it applies to you, feel free to give me a call, text, or an email. Again, all my information is in the description below. I'd be happy to talk with you about your specific circumstance and what would be best for you when making offers here in Salem, Oregon. Well, that is enough for the introduction. Let's get on to the first house. Okay, and here we are at our first listing of the day. And this is gonna be the smallest and the least expensive house we are looking at today. And it is just $50 short of $300,000. It is a two bedroom, one bath, right at 740 square feet. It's a little tight in there and the price per square foot comes right up at $405 per square foot. Which you might be thinking that sounds a little bit expensive per square foot and it is quite a bit above the average price per square foot here in Salem. 
And I don't know if this house is actually gonna sell for this amount. It could, you never know. It's been on the market for a little over a week now. But when you do get to these smaller houses, that price per square foot is usually a little bit higher because there's an inherent value in the land. But again, I'm not sure what this is going to sell for. I'm not sure if it's gonna quite hit what it's listed at, but again, we will see. It is nicely updated inside. It has new floors and new paint. The kitchen has all brand new appliances in it and that nice tile backsplash on there. So if you're looking for a house and you don't mind something a little bit smaller, it is a good option. And we are in Central Salem, which has a few perks. It is very accessible to everything. You're just a few blocks away from Market Street here. So you're really easy to get on and off of I-5. And you're just a few minutes from downtown, uh, all the shopping and restaurants down there. And you can cross the bridge and get to whatever you need to West Salem and towards the coast if you want to. So it is a good location if you're looking to commute and you need to get either to West Salem or somewhere on the west side of the river, or if you need to hop on I-5 and go to Portland or Eugene for your work. One other thing is Central Salem is the older part of Salem, so you're going to find a lot of older houses in the neighborhood, and you can tell hopefully that you have some bigger, older established trees, which gives you a lot of nice shade in the summer. And again, the whole neighborhood and all the streets around in this area have these big trees on them, uh, which is going to give you a lot of leaves in the fall when they fall off. But for the summer months, it really makes the streets look nice and gives you lots of shade cover. Well, this is a pretty small house, so there's not a lot to talk about but let's get on to the next one. Okay, and here we are at the next house. This is actually the one I was most excited to show you. It is a very unique house. It's in kind of a weird location, not for everyone, but because of that, you're gonna get a good deal. And it is this house right over here, over my shoulder. We are on a pretty busy street right here, so I'm gonna go around the other side of the house so we don't have quite as much road noise. And then we'll talk about this house a little bit more. Okay, and this is where you would drive into this house. And this house is, unlike the rest of them, is not just residential zoning, it is called RM2, which is residential multifamily. And that is gonna mean you have little different setbacks. And of course it's made for multifamily, so you could put two units or like an apartment, which this house is still just single family, but it's zoned so you can put multiple units in on this one piece of land. But again, this is actually the back side of the property and this house is listed at $325,000. It is a four bedroom, two bath, which is the most beds and bath we're gonna look at today. This house has 1,452 square feet and the price per square foot is $223 per square foot. So it is the most affordable per square foot and you're gonna get a lot of space in there with those four bedrooms, two bath. This house was built in the 1940s, it is very unique, has some weird quirky features which you may love or you may hate depending on what you're looking for and houses i personally i like the older houses and all those built-ins and kind of the weird things that make it a little odd and fun to live in so it is priced pretty low for how big it is but that is of course the location and the quirkiness of the house right again right on the main road you don't get much of a yard here just 0.1 acres and most of it's unfortunately on the street side not in the back section here so there's some pros and cons of this property for sure. While it might not be the best location, it is priced fairly well, so it's likely to see multiple offers. Uh, time will tell, of course, but it will probably go pretty quickly. That is enough of this one. Let's get on to the next house. And here we are coming up on the next house. Now we are in South Salem and we are in a very quiet neighborhood. I just, it feels very loud me just talking here. And we are up about a half mile away from Liberty Street, up the hill. Again, very quiet and peaceful, nice big trees in this old established neighborhood. And this house right over here behind me is the one we are looking at. And this house is listed right at $370,000. It is just a three bedroom, two bath house, right at 1,000 square feet, which brings the price per square foot, of course, to $370. Again, price per square foot a little higher than the average here in Salem, but you do get this nice, peaceful, quiet neighborhood in a great spot in town. South Salem is usually pretty desirable for a lot of people, so it could be worth it to you for the price. Now, the house itself is in very good condition. Looks like they've done some newer flooring. It has an older kitchen, but they've painted the cabinets to make it look a little bit more modern. 
Again, new paint throughout most of the house. Uh, that roof looks like it's in pretty good condition and it has a very nice private backyard. And it unfortunately only has the one bathroom so that could be a little bit of a downside. Let's drive around the neighborhood a little bit and get on to the next one. Here we are at the last house of the day. Now we did run into a little bit of a rainstorm, so I'm gonna hide out under these trees for a little bit so we don't get too wet. But as you can tell, this house right behind me is the one for sale. Uh, this house is listed at $384,000. It is a two bedroom, one bath, uh, but it does have a few bonus rooms upstairs that you could use as office or if you wanted to a uh, bedroom. Depends on how it works out for you and your situation. And this house is 1,268 square feet, which puts the price per square foot right at $302 per square foot. This house is newly updated with flooring, paint. It has been cleaned up. It used to be a rental property and someone came in and fixed it up and made it look a lot nicer than it used to. So it has quite a few upgrades and it's in pretty good condition. And we are of course still in South Salem here. We are actually really close to Creekside Golf Course right off of Sunnyview Road. This area is not the most convenient if you need to commute north to Portland because it's kind of a hassle to get to an exit where you're going north on I-5. But it is a nicer neighborhood. Again, we are pretty close to one of those major roads, so you're going to get a little bit of traffic noise. But if the road noise isn't a deal breaker for you and it's in your price range, this could be a good option to look at. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you enjoyed the three dollars to $400,000 tour of Salem, Oregon and enjoyed a few of the houses that we looked at today. I hope you got a feel for what is available out here. And of course, there are many more options of houses available in this price range. These are just a few that were available for me to look at with you guys here on camera today. Well, again, I wanna thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you around town.